What's good, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop here, aka Mr. Red Cup. What's good, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop here, giving you another update accompanied by my homie, Marilyn Monroe. So, as you guys know, uh, e-immigration has been taking effect. Um, I'm giving you an update now because I actually went through it. Uh, e-immigration was supposed to take effect for Dominican Republic in December. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it took effect in Colombia in December as well. I might be mistaken on that. But, as you guys know, I just did a trip to Colombia and back. So, I had to use e-immigration for Colombia and to come back to Dominican Republic. So, in the pinned comments will be the link for Dominican Republic e-immigration and Colombia e-immigration. Let me explain how this works. For Colombia e-immigration, you need to hit the link and all the information within 48 hours of your flight. For Dominican Republic e-immigration, you have 72 hours before your flight. Now, because I went through it, I'm going to talk about it and give you some tips. My suggestion to everyone is fill out the e-immigration form a day before your flight. And I'll tell you why. So I thought I could fill it out in the airport. That's what I thought. I get to the airport in Santo Domingo. They will not let you to the desk to check in until you have that form filled out. Meaning, when you come in the airport and you're ready to get to the desk and check in, there's somewhere there checking that you have the e-immigration email or PDF file in your phone before you can even walk to the check-in desk. So, have it filled out. It takes about five to ten minutes. I filled mine out in about seven minutes. A friend of mine was there. He needed to fill his out as well. The reason I said fill it out before you get to the airport is because if you have everything on your one phone, you can't keep going back and forth. So have two phones or have your computer and your phone, fill everything out, all the information, or print up your sheet, your itinerary one, all your information, and everything is there. All it basically asks you is flight number, where you're leaving from, where you're coming from, confirmation number, which is an awkward, everything in your itinerary, as well as your passport number, is what they ask for. What do you do? Blah, blah, blah. How long you're going to be in the country? Where you going? That's it. Okay, so what you'll really need for e-immigration is everything on your flight itinerary, everything on that, your passport number, and where you'll be staying at. That's what you need on immigration. So uh, for Dominican, uh, sorry, for Colombia first, I went to Colombia. I filled everything out at the airport. It took me seven minutes. Boom, they let me to the front. I showed them the email. I walked in, checked in, boom, I was gone. Leaving Colombia and going back to Dominican Republic, I had to do Colombia again because you got to do it when you come in and when you leave. So I had to do Colombia, leaving, and Dominican Republic, entering. So I did it the same day, the day before my flight. Hey, boom, I did Dominican Republic, went through like that. Then I filled out leaving Colombia. It went like that. Now, it's easier to do before you get to the airport because you got everything in front of you, your computer, your paperwork, if you print up your stuff. So let me make it easy. Let me break it down easy for you again. What the e-migration asks for is everything on your flight itinerary, confirmation number, uh, whatever numbers are on there, flight number, all that, destination, where you're coming from, your passport information, and where you're going to be staying at. That was for Colombia and Dominican Republic. I went through this going in Colombia, leaving Colombia, and entering Dominican Republic. Now, what I will say, some airlines are still giving the paperwork because as the lady told me on Copa, everybody doesn't have it. Everybody didn't do the immigration in, in Dominican Republic because it's kind of new. So, Dominican Republic was supposed to start in December. A lot of glitches. April 1st is when they officially made it official. I did mine. No issues, no glitches, no problems. I couldn't report to you before about the e-migration because there was a lot of glitches going on and I didn't know what it was. I couldn't just do it because I, I haven't been through it or seen it. What I will say is this. 
when you fill the e-migration out in Colombia, to come into Colombia, leaving Colombia, and to enter Dominican Republic, it was a breeze. Everything was a breeze. No paperwork, no issues, no nothing. I got there. Once they swiped me, they already knew how I was. They already knew my flight number. It was all in there before I even got to the desk. And when I got to the desk, they were like, hey, have a good day. Enjoy your stay. Okay, so it makes it a little bit easier. Um, so I'll, I'll put the links in there for Colombia and Dominican Republic. So those are the two places I actually use the e-migration app. And you can click on the link, download the link um, for Colombia and Dominican Republic. They both send you an email and the PDF file. And you can download the PDF file. Each time I went to customs, I was like, hey, I have it right here. They said, don't worry, sir. We already got it in the system. Thank you. And you move on. I would just say download a PDF file just in case. You never know. But you get an email and PDF file. And it's easy breezy. It actually makes customs a little bit easier to go to. I was actually online longer than I was at the custom desk. And uh, as far as the e-immigration goes, I went through customs with a breeze. So appreciate all you guys. And by the way, let me say this. Appreciate every single one of you that has supported Flip Flop. Um, this, the, the, the channel, uh, the sports bar restaurant, has supported the Paradise Life movement. We have so much more coming, you will not believe it. Um, so I appreciate every single one of you from the bottom of my heart. Stay tuned. We got more coming. All to you guys. Thank you. It keeps on going and going and going. Uh, hit that like, share, subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm going live and when these videos are popping up. Like I said, that's the information for e-immigration. E I did it myself, no hearsay, so I'm giving it to you as it comes to me and as I do it. Appreciate you guys. Mr. Flip Flop, I'm out. Say bye, Marilyn. <laughs>